I'm sure you've noticed whenever you visit a website that only supports plain old HTTP, that your browser gives you a nasty, this site isn't secure warning. Well, the idea behind HTTPS is really simple. The S just stands for secure. So it's just HTTP secure. But the big two questions that that raises are, one, what does HTTPS protect against? And two, what does HTTPS not protect against? Now, this isn't a video about cryptography, so we'll do a bit of hand waving here, but I still want to cover the basics. When you send an HTTP request and response, the data is sent across the vast infrastructure that makes up the internet in plain text. And that means that the software on your machine, your router, your ISP, the server you're communicating with, and anyone in between, they can all read your messages. Now, sometimes that's not a huge deal. Maybe you're just asking for a public web page. But sometimes it is a huge deal. If you're sending a password or an API key or a credit card number, it could be a disaster. And in those cases, we only want the server itself to be able to read our messages and vice versa. We want to be the only ones that can read its responses. HTTPS solves this. When you make an HTTPS request, the process is a bit more involved. One, the client verifies the server's digital certificate to ensure it's communicating with the correct server. Two, the client and server use a public-private key pair to perform a handshake and securely agree on a shared symmetric encryption key. Then from this point on, both the client and server encrypt and decrypt requests and responses using that shared symmetric key. So this ensures a couple of things. One, only the client and the server can read the request and response. Even if you're on public Wi-Fi, the router won't be able to decrypt your messages. Two, the client's communicating with the server it thinks it's communicating with. HTTPS isn't just about encryption. It also involves digital certificates and signatures. This means that when you communicate over HTTPS, you can be sure that the server you're talking to actually owns the domain you're requesting from. It's not just some other server pretending to be google.com. So what doesn't HTTPS protect against? Well, it doesn't keep who you're making requests to private. And this is why VPNs exist. In fact, can I get a sponsorship for this? For example, when you make a Google search over HTTPS, those listening in the middle won't know what data you sent to Google and they won't know what data Google sent back to you. This is why you're able to log in with passwords. But they will know that you talked to Google and not to Facebook or Wikipedia or any other domain. 